feel like that used to be all brood. Uh oh, look on that bee. Mites. We just did our mite treatment. This was our biggest hive and it's now there's nothing. Nothing in it. I wonder what happened. We just saw her a few weeks ago. She was the one that we saw. But there I mean there's no There's some larva how does that, there's a mite on this one too. How does that happen? There's the mite. I don't know, but there's. But we did April war. Beetles in here too. But if you open up one of these cells, there's an undeveloped bee larva. Undeveloped. Developed. Look at all the larva that didn't make it. There's a, there's a big old fat beetle. Yep, yeah, there's another mite. There's a bunch in that one. Yep. We lost this one to mites, I believe. What a bummer. freeze all of those I guess like we did last time freeze them and then put them in a bag and that way all the mites that are on there are dead well we need to mark these frames since we had apivore on it just in case I bet you these bees are all from another hive I think so coming after the food Mm-hmm. We don't want them to get the mites on them, though. And take them back to their hive. What do here's, we do? The, here's the thing. I mean, these are good frames of sugar syrup. For the bees, yeah. The bees. That's good food, but we have to get rid of the mites. Well, we just freeze them. Okay. What a bummer. Our strongest. This one sure is strong, man. I'm looking for mites on them. There's a mite on this one right here. We're gonna have to treat them again. Look on there for the queen, see if you see it. So we discovered today that, oh, I just discovered that the smoker pot. We discovered today that we have a varroa mite issue. Um, one of our hives, the big hive up there, has actually collapsed. And we opened up the brood chambers and looked inside the cells and there's varroa mites on there. So we did a um, apivar, apivar treatment in August and apparently it didn't work. So we have a varroa mite problem. Um, we treated for varroa mites earlier. We used apivar in August and apparently it didn't work. So that hive right there, the one with all the bees buzzing, that one is basically collapsed now. So we're trying to prevent that from happening to the other hives. So we're gonna do three oxalic acid treatments. We're gonna start our first one tonight and then we'll do another one in four days and then another one in four days. I'm gonna put my gloves on. This hive is this hive is no good. I mean it's it's a dead hive. We'll we'll treat this 
tonight. Right? Yeah. To retreat this hive, then I think we can take all the resources out of here, and then we'll use that for the other three hives to give them some more resources. So for a quick recap for you guys, uh, the marigold hive is no longer, the bees are gone. We inspected today and it is infested with mites. So we feel like that is the reason they left. Um, we looked into our other hives, there are mites. So that means our previous mite treatment failed and <laughs> we have to retreat tonight. So this should protect the colonies going into winter. We'll do this treatment again in February before the queen starts laying heavily in the spring. December. December? December. Says Blue Ridge Bee Company. Says Blue Ridge Bee Company. Says the professionals. We had to consult them today. When we do these treatments, our honey supers are not on. You do that again? Yeah, let's do. All the bees are back inside of it. I mean, are, are we supposed to? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Okay. <laughs> 